Welcome back everyone to Let's Play World Waves 2 as Japan, episode number 21. Boy, it's been a kind of exciting little last week for my channel, um, just because I finished up Strategic Command World War 1. That hasn't published or finished posting to the channel, but I also began Shadow Empire, which is an amazing game, having a lot of fun with it. It's been a little crazy, Aurora, Aurora 4X C Sharp version just came out. Um, and I'm gonna buy Banner Lord. <laughs> I'm just about to start playing that, so uh, through it all, in my head, I was like, you know what? It's time to get another Rule of Waves video out. <laughs> so <laughs> I kind of lost my momentum with this one because there's been so much happening in the last week, and especially with the coronavirus and all that. Um, yeah, I really just lost my momentum because there's been a lot happening, and I've been pretty busy with everything else. I'm always happy to come back and play this. Um, if it's frustrating at times, it's still one of the best war games I've ever played, so... And I think that my channel, <laughs> the, the amount of hours I put into this game, it is probably testament to that. <laughs> Good evidence that I enjoy it. So our Gachamuchis are going to be finishing their construction very soon, um, which is good. And we've been talking about doing a new Dreadnought. I, I'm, completely in, I'm completely in line with that. Uh, we probably need a new light cruiser first. Let me just check. I don't know the answer to this question yet. Um, is it a volume too loud? Yeah, I'll just put that down to there. Um, let's look at a light cruiser. Do we have... We must have... Okay, good. So we do have all or nothing armor, and... I think that this is a pretty good configuration, except for turret top maybe, getting that up to two. I think it's time for a light cruiser, because we, do we have above water? Oh. Oh, we don't have above water, do we? Why would we not use... Can somebody tell me why we would not use oil on this? So I'm thinking if we do something like 27, this is a little bit weird, but bear with me. If I do something like 27, I think it can still outrun... So our previous one is as 25. 27 can probably get away from a lot of the battle cruisers. Probably can get away from some of the heavy cruisers. Um, we don't have director firing. My goodness, what the heck's going on with this? See, I can't believe I've made it this far without director firing. And how does this, this work? How, how does this work? <laughs> you can do two tubes, but how do you do two tubes in the same exact spot? We've done eight nine instead of uh, we did eight nine eight nine instead of six seven eight nine. Does that mean? I mean, okay. At the risk of invalidating this design. Oh. <laughs> the reason it's illegal is not because I have three underwater torpedo tubes on each side. Look at. I mean, this is a preposterous thing. This is a. Just a terrible, terrible idea, but we're going with it. I'm actually going to go with it. I know that you just, <laughs> I can hear, but I mean, not every day that you get a chance to design a ship like this, right? Let's put some... It's just funny to me that we don't have any other quality guns. I want to add secondaries for ASW. I mean, not ASW. I... Um, actually, ASW is kind of an interesting point. How much does minesweeping... It adds about 70. I don't know if that's worth it. We'll probably just have dedicated Corvettes for mine sweeping. Yeah, that still seems the best to me. We'll probably put some mines on this. Why Why we cannot? Do we not have mines unlocked? Why? Huh. Seaplane hangar? Okay, I don't understand why. Okay, one... There it goes. Now now it's costing more. Extra 60. Now... Ooh. So it's basically 60 per airplane. Which we can just see very clearly here. It's a, almost double the cost. That's pretty brutal. The trade-off here is that some of the some of the seaplanes will not be... Um, they're... are not likely to be uh, ready to go without, without the hangar. Oh boy. Hey, I'm pretty I'm a pretty big fan of this conning tower. <laughs> Put it up to 
I don't know where we're going with this. I have no idea what we're doing with this ship. One, two, three, four, five. Can we add? I don't think we have five plus, but let's just... Let's check. Okay, I'm extremely confused. Why would you not do that to begin with? One, two, three, four, five, six. I like this. Now I like it a lot more, of course. Um, let's get the other funnel. I mean, there's just some things I can't I can't abide by. I think that is this one. Oops. And clear this one. Yeah, fair enough. Okay, I just don't make it. Damn it. Good enough. Okay, so there we ha there we have it. One, two, three, four, five, six. That is a six-gun broadside. I don't know if I'm going to go with the secondaries here because, despite the fact that it is in, I mean, it's 1920, right? And we'd expect that airplanes are going to be a bigger thing pretty soon. In which case, I should be adding secondary guns here. Um, we don't need these ships to have AA themselves. I don't really think so, at least. I mean, if the space, it's a it's a great place to store space, like for central firing to become director and all that. I don't know what I'm trying to do with this ship. How much was torpedo defense? Because that's another great thing to add. I don't think I'd add it on a displacement 5,000 ship, though. We almost don't need them to be saved from torpedoes. Now, what I'd like to do, if I'm going to do this, is at least get this to six. So we have three anti-aircraft guns on each side. Um, this is... A weird torpedo ship and the reason why I'm not increasing the speed more is simply because in order to launch these torpedoes I don't know how this works by the way I don't understand why this is an option I'm just still interested in trying it out and seeing if it, it can actually launch three different torpedoes I'm really curious you know I'm just really curious if that if that's something that can happen if I take the conning tower back down to two we're actually good on this but Frankly, we do need a little... Well, let's go up to 5,100. 60. This is 64. 62. So, yeah, we'll stop it here at 5,200. Seems like a nice spot. And what are we going to do with that? We're going to give it some extra secondaries. A little bit of extra total ammunition. Uh, we will leave some weight available for... Uh, director firing and to have AA directors eventually since this will be dual purpose at some point. For now we can just occupy that space with, since for some reason I can't use mines, I don't, I'm sure somebody in the comments will be helpful enough as to let me know what I'm doing wrong. What about 1.5 for belt? Ooh, deck, I mean, that's a, a sizable I think we're just going to stomach it at 1 and hope that these things don't see action at a distance very often. There are 14 light anti-aircraft guns just to keep it... I, you know, this is a pretty good looking ship. I like it. I also need to see... I don't know who... I probably... I'll have to pull up my ship's name list. I don't know how we're doing with those. I haven't updated it in a while. I need to make sure... I think I have some supporters whose uh, names should go down here. So I... Okay, let's do it. One sec. All right, we got the good old Chun Chun Maru. <laughs> okay, error, insufficient topside space. Okay, so we ran out of space here. Aha, uh -huh, yeah. We have to bring this down to 18. And now we should be good. We do have a little bit of space remaining. I don't see a reason to change anything, though. I think I'm just going to be okay letting that space go to waste for now. And I, I think that we may end up just Hmm. Well, I can always just add it to ammo. 165 seems like I don't need any more than that. We need some room for a director. Although that's, you know, kind of well accounted for with this. Okay, let's just leave it exactly where it is. I think it's okay. So the Chun Chun Maru, it's going to cost us 22.7 million to, to build one of these. It's pretty expensive, but this is basically going to be my new war light cruiser. Um, it is very capable of doing anti-aircraft duties. It's not a full-on CLAA, I would say, but it's pretty good. 
Yeah, let's just develop that. Ah, we still have half the fleet mothballed, you say? I think that's because I brought some ships under reconstruction this turn. So if we just bring a few ships out... Um, like these new ones. No, oh, the new size are already there. Okay, so the next best thing is to bring out some of the Kosamis. What if we just bring out all of them? Is that enough to make you happy? It is. Uh, they want to buy this all or nothing armor. Why is the German government coming to me for all or nothing armor? I don't know. They usually are privy to these kinds. Of Actually, the Germany didn't really use all or nothing armor. But by all means, we'll let them buy it. Director firing. Well, the good news is we will have an opportunity to refit the ship which we just designed with director firing. Um, New Hebrides, the rebels have actually declared independence. That's... Wow, this game is pretty interesting. Interesting, interesting. I, I really... It would be cool to do something about these neutral locations. Because the fact that they're in the game just makes everyone want to occupy them. <laughs> Uh, anyway, so France, if they're any bit, if they're, if they're weak, I would happily go to war with them. In fact, let me, what's their, what's the state of affairs for everyone right now? France is technically backward. Okay, so that means that we don't have a huge benefit from spying on them, but if we want to increase tension, you know, I'm not going to waste the money. I'm just going to look for events. I think a war against um, Great Britain right now immediately if we can get something happen very quickly, would be to our advantage, because I believe that they're probably just gonna be building a lot of stuff right now. Four and one, I mean, it's not insane. We'll be better equipped to deal with whatever them. <laughs> so, do we wanna build some purpose-built light carriers now that we have one of ours? That's an interesting thought too. I think I'm gonna wait a little bit, but how are we doing on aircraft? Yeah, we have one more month left for the float plane scout advances. Um, okay, so I built an airfield here. That's good. And I don't think... I, I might need airfields here. What about on Pontianic? I feel like that can cover a lot, a lot of area. Yeah, okay, let's let's actually build a airbase at Pontianic. Or Pontianac. There's been several comments critical of my pronunciations. <laughs> okay. Just let me know the pronunciation as uh, as I should pronounce it. Look at that. I mean <laughs> there's no way of her I, I don't know. It strikes me as a little bit naive to expect people to know how to pronounce Indonesian names correctly. They're just not something which comes up in the common American conversation, so. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I thought that would be the month where we'd get our light cruiser back, so we probably have one more month on that design. Yeah, one more month on that. We're still going to have enough money to do something, so We've kind of flooded the game with submarines, and I know that those are pretty effective. A little bit too much effective. This is the correct time for it to be effective, though. This is basically World War One was when they had their heyday. I mean, World War Two is what we're probably most of us, myself certainly, at the forefront of this. I was most familiar with submarines from World War Two. It was much to my shock when I learned that they were actually more effective in World War One. So this is their time period to shine. Why am I saying all that? Because maybe it is time for us to build a few more just to really win the next war convincingly and then we can just start to let them die off because we have the budget to do so right now. Let me get eight coastals and let me build four mediums and call it a day. That's a lot of budget, So, but we're, gonna, we're about to free up a lot of budget. So there it is. Um, torpedo technology, that's always good, okay. This is the important one. Now remember, with this one, we went for reliability first, and I think speed second. So we're expecting range not to be that great, but in fact, we have much, much better range. 
or maybe just three years as we're expecting this number to be 120 if we had chose range. I'm still pretty happy with the results here. Um, considering this is slightly lower in range, it is more maneuverable and tougher. Is that going to be a big deal? It's also a little bit faster, which not a whole lot faster. Is the range worth it? I think the range is everything on these things, considering we already have reliability pretty high. So I'm going to go with the bottom one, because the, the speed is pretty much the same, and we don't want these getting into a fight anyway, so we'll just do it this way. Okay, rework the design. All right, I'm a ding dong. Um, you can't do director firing on light cruisers. Wait a second. Yes, you can. I thought that you could do director firing on light cruisers at the same time you get it for battleships. I thought. Am I crazy? Let's see. Okay, let's see. Is it available for... It's available for armored cruisers. No. Huh. I'm just not remembering correctly. So then the ship is fine as is. We'll go with it. We'll need a second technology to get light cruisers. And so I just spent the money on submarines, but you can see that one battleship finishing has cleared the way for that. Let's get four of these for now. Which doesn't sink our budget too much, considering in only one more month we'll have 3.1. Nah, call it 2.5 after maintenance. Uh, 2.5 available for us. We'll only have a slight negative. There it is. Um, yes, we need that technology. Wow, Nigeria. <laughs> so many rebellions in this in this playthrough. But I like it. Especially because the Japanese not holding almost any territory. Don't really have to worry about a rebellion breaking out in theirs. <laughs> if there's going to be a rebellion, I think if I imagine I'm just guessing it's a rebellion event is rolled and then it rolls to see what territory. Well, if it rolls to see what territory, almost surely it's not going to pick us. Hmm. Yeah, does this... Do you have an airbase? Because this is where we need an airbase. <laughs> Let me just make sure that I'm not going to be doing this wrong. Yeah, we do not have an airbase here, but this is obviously a great place. We're going to be surrounded by British. So, where do we want it? Gosh, I think, honestly, it does not matter. We'd want them in both. I'm going to choose... Which is more likely? I think I've had both of them chosen for me before. I'm going to choose... Shortland's actually closer to these. Uh, or not, I mean... This one has, I think the Shortland, yeah, where do I, <laughs> I don't know. My first impression was Bulka, um, Buka, sorry. But now Shortland's looking a lot better. No, I'm just going to do Buka, I'm going to go with Buka. It's really six one way, half dozen the other, but leave it to, to Tortuga to overanalyze every decision. Good, airbase. Now under construction. Good. Okay. Well, their budget is slowly getting there. The Gachamuchis we are going to let work up. We might even keep them in active duty. <laughs> we want them ready to go. Okay, these are now battleships, which means more strategic points. Hooray. Um, by all means, because the Italians are meaningless to us. Their rebellion in Nigeria continues. Hmm. Oichi. 14 aircraft. Have we not decided to give her... We didn't give her an air group yet, I don't think. Actual aircraft, authorized air strength, capacity. Okay. Yeah, we didn't give her any aircraft yet. But it's time to design a new aircraft. Let's see, what do we have? When this is finished developing, I think this flow plane will just go away or we will obsolete it. It's just obviously so much worse, especially because this one has a chance of being reliable. Um, flying boat? Is that what's next? Well, I guess we should get a fighter. Fighters are still going to be interesting. Speed and... 
firepower or maneuverability? I think maneuverability is better. It might even be reliability. I'm going to go with maneuverability. I think that that's the best combo for a fighter. Firepower, I've tried before. It doesn't really have much of an effect until you get to like 1940. And then there's a huge jump. So there's just only so many ways you can mount machine guns to the roof of your biplane or to the front, to the nose of it. Tension is spread pretty evenly across the board right now. Mm, I guess we have, well, let's wait for our budget to neutralize or to, you know, have no deficit at least. Uh, just no, we don't need that. She finished her work up, good. That was a pretty scary moment. My hard drive was cranking away. I think I need a new hard drive. Uh-oh. Yeah. I think it's okay. No. Ah, oh, there we go. <laughs> okay. They want to... U.S. wants to buy armor for us? From us? This is weird. But yeah, sure, we'll take it. Maybe we shouldn't be doing that with the U.S. Okay. I need to think about that a little more carefully. <laughs> No to all, no to all. Just one holdout on the shore range ships. <laughs> um, okay, so 1918, we're at 1920. Let's take a look at who else might need to be refit. These are 1917, that's still fine. 1916, so they've been refit into 1920. This is 1918 for refit, so those guys are all fine. Miobus are 1918 built. Gachimuchi's 1920. So everyone's okay. 1917, the Soku herself, the only the only one of her class left, by the way. She is 1917 build. Yeah, that's still three years. It's fine. We don't need to rebuild anything. What do we have under construction? Just some Chun Chun Marus. Some size. All good things. Plenty of submarines. And we can start building our aircraft as soon as tensions get higher. Oh, okay, yes, we'll buy that. Okay, better explosive shells. Oh my goodness, 15 inch guns, damn it. Anyhow, these are like the worst guns. I mean, you gotta make do with what you have, but they're my least favorite gun. No, 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 research, sorry. Maple guns, okay, so what do we have then? I think I'd rather use the 14 inch guns. Higher rate of fire to me is just much more important. I know you get range and therefore better accuracy out of the 15 inch guns. But knowing that, I mean, this is weird. This is weird to have in 1921, the gun rates. So one of the problems is though, 1.18, the newest patch, I think there might be actually a 1.19 now. I can't remember. Anyway, 1.18 slowed down the development of big caliber guns. Um, I did that patch after like Great Britain had already had 15 inch guns. So we're expecting, I think it has an effect on things right now, but obviously it didn't slow down research that had already been completed. So we might be at a bigger disadvantage in this playthrough. I mean, that's also gonna be true with any other nation that was slow to research these like Russia, I imagine. So, and Italy. They will also be behind. It just kind of increased the, the gap between the top, like England and the United States and everyone else. Still, we've done okay so far. Revolution in Chinese, bro, oh, please, please, please. Let's capture it. All right, let's see what the, oh, wow, perfect. I mean, when you can fit three submerged mounts in two spots, you don't really need that. But where, I'm really curious, where did the tension end up? 218, goes to 233, and pretty evenly spread still. In fact, the only person that I would, I'm, okay, I, I wouldn't mind going to war with anybody in this group. I don't think that we have anything to gain from fighting Germany at this point. We've already humiliated them. I guess there's one holding left, but it's just Marshall Islands, value of one. I imagine it would be an easy victory. We might even contest the Indian Ocean. Although there's no reason to go there. We don't have we do not have ports. It'd be nice to have one ally, even Italy. <laughs> Just somebody to take the take the some of the hits on the chin. 
I'm going to build bigger docks now because we do have a small amount of positive balance. I know I talked about building another Dreadnought, and we, we do want it, but I'm still waiting. Okay, quality 0, 10 inch guns, not important. Um, better Torpedo Bomber. What in God's name is going on with the range? I mean, it's much faster as far as max speed, but the cruise speed is more or less the same, so this is, only has an effect on combat. In combat, it's basically the same in every other way except for max speed, and we already have an average rel reliability torpedo bomber. This is actually a really good one. Mitsubishi has done quite well for themselves here. So no, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna buy that. One more month until our fighter is done. Looks good. Let's take a drink of water. Oh, monthly balance is looking good now. Hmm. Let's take a look at my research priorities. Yeah, machinery development we put on low. We've been getting that technology from other people anyway. Armor development apparently we're like way ahead in that, so I'm gonna put that to high, knowing that we're not gonna be buying it from anybody else. Direct firing, that's good. Remarkably, yeah, remarkably, we don't have any higher torpedo protection. What the hell is going on with our torpedo protection? I feel like at this point I just need to edit the save game. I'm not going to, but I feel like I should. Also, we have a few that we took off uh, Mothball. We can, um, <laughs> this is really pennies. We can start um, actually mothballing a few of these at a time until we're not. Ooh, look at that. Finnish Jaeger and his... <laughs> our top spy has managed to get hold of data for the British floatplane scout. That's probably not what our spy looked like infiltrating into a British area. Nothing would be more conspicuous than a ninja. But anyway. Top speed. Oh yeah, our floatplane is much better. 15 inch guns. 28,000. That's pretty good. Okay, the new fighters. Um, we did speed and maneuverability, which is probably what I did before. So speed has gone way up. Top one being, yeah, in every way the best. Only thing it misses is a little bit of toughness, but we're definitely gonna call that our new one. Ah, they wanna ask us if we can buy this right after I just purchased, or requisitioned the other ones. So is it better than the one I just got? Yeah, it is. Well, it's worse in terms of maneuverability and toughness here, but I'm gonna buy it as well. And then we can just choose. Nigeria has declared independence. Well, hoorah. I'm happy to see that because I just, I hate the British. <laughs> they need to die. Should we just go for it against the Russians? Should we just try to go into a war against the Russians? I think we can easily win. All our forces are in Northeast Asia. They don't have any reason to go into Southeast Asia, so we can probably just put a token force there to prevent I mean, it wouldn't be an invasion, it would just be... Yeah, no, actually, we don't even need anything there. The whole war would be fought... Because they can't invade here. The whole war would be fought in Northeast Asia, which is hugely to our advantage. I mean, this is... But budget wise Oh my god, I'm just... I'm starting to get a real feeling that we can do this. 233, we're at pretty much the same budget. Oh man, let's do it. Okay, so submarines are going to be good. But Russia is pretty resilient against the blockade, I believe. What is our strategy going to be? It's going to be to torpedo the hell out of whatever we get in the surprise attack. And then hopefully we have enough points. Let's see what's the situation. They have eight battle cruisers. We have five dreadnoughts and four battleships, which is really like, you know, two or what is it? Two... Yeah, two of our battleships, quote unquote battleships, are really light battle cruisers. So, actually, we can get these to be reserve fleet to save a little bit more money. That saved a lot of money. Ah, oh, that's right, because engines. Engines are very expensive to maintain. But we'll leave the Gachimuchis on active duty to get there, to get them up there. I think I'm gonna 
buy maybe oh, how are we doing on light cruisers seven we're doing okay actually we're, we, we look pretty good there we might be even a little bit low on corvettes okay we have the us we have the Osama Maru which is the mine sweeping version do we want to get like a mined version or something no we can't put mines yeah, I don't know what's going on with mines anyway. I'm just going to hit next turn, not knowing what I want to do quite yet. The next step would be to build some more destroyers, but I, I think we're actually okay on destroyers for a little bit. Light carriers, big ships. I think we just we have to build a battleship next, which means I need, I need torpedo defense. Look at, with director firing, I'm almost tempted to bring this down. Let's bring armor development down to medium again. Oh, construction. Okay, I, I want to lower anything that need <laughs> anything I can. We really, really need that subdivision and damage control. Um, AP. Let's put this to low. Low. Uh, medium. I God, I want to move this up too. Okay, let's do medium. Let's put this to low now. Leave all of these on low. Put this one on high, that's fine. Both of those on high is fine. Amphibious invasions, I mean, it would be nice if we could get one more, but I think we'll put it on low for now and we will always leave naval guns on high. Okay, let's see if that helps at all. Tensions are increasing. Okay, now it's with Germany. It's still a fight we could win. Not the war I want, but Oh, yes, Russian Navy. Yes, 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 yes. Send a note. Mobilize all... Uh, I don't want to actually mobilize our major ships, but... Improve triple turrets. That's good. Does it actually mobilize our ships? It doesn't. Okay, that's actually quite nice. It doesn't actually mean anything. <laughs> okay, let's get these guys to reserve fleet as well. And now it's time for us to start building, I think, to start getting our air our air groups going on. Um, and definitely, what am I thinking? Let's build uh, an air base at Wei Hai Wei. And I also want to go and build an air base at Wakanai, I think. It could be Otaru. I think Wakanai has been the closest one. No, we had some battles over at like Kushiro. Maybe we need to build two, one at Hakodate and one at Wakanai. They can cover the north side and the south side. I think this is Hokkaido, right? Of Hokkaido? Oh yeah, it says right there, <laughs> whatever. So let's do that. I think Hakodate, is that the one I wanted? Hakodate and Wakanai, yeah. And I apologize if those pronunciations are wrong. They probably are. Well, you'll just have to stomach it. Otherwise, just let me play as the United States, and I'll still get some of those wrong. <laughs> okay, we got Hak... Uh, which was the one we guess? Got Hakodate. So let's get the Wakanai airbase. Good. And how we have four batteries, so two actual batteries, six batteries here, one battery. Let's also build another six inch battery here. Um, Sing Tao has no batteries. We'll build a six inch fortification here as well. Okay, good. That's that's sufficient to me. We're pretty well stocked for a battle or a war. Hopefully it happens with Russia. Okay, and then we have a surplus still, which we want. Yeah, I guess we're just waiting at this point. Okay, the Plata, 1920. So this is a four inch, I mean, it's just, it's not worth. Oh my gosh, enable CV conversions. Holy crap. Well, the, the interesting thing is the Sakurajima was kind of a, a bust, and I really like the name. I like the name on Take as well. These are both great names. So they've already had a good run. 
I think that this is going to be our first carriers, but I can't do that quite yet. This is kind of a tricky thing. I need to convert something to a carrier, right? But and those have to be it, right? They, they need, I think we need a minimum speed of 24. Let's just pretend. Let's just see what happens. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Did I not say open rebuild? <laughs> Air capacity, sorry. Okay, it's saying this is a light and a carrier speed blown. Yeah, we can't do this. Okay, just want to make sure. So the only one option for us is the Sakurajimas. They must be our, our new carriers. How do I want to do this, though? Would I let the Sakurajima herself? I think that the Sakurajima herself has to be the one we convert, and the Antake happens later. But I need all the strategic points right now. So it's going to happen, it's going to have to happen later when we want to be scrapping them, even though we just got the technology. So what technology was that? Should be pretty easy to see. Yeah, I think I'm going to put this to medium because we're ahead on it. And I do want, I mean, I want to keep pushing on the aircraft side of things, obviously. But the problem is, the big problem is I need the strategic points to be able to fight the Russians. So with the aircraft being still not that important, um, oh yeah, I forgot. I need to, well, we have a little bit of time. Okay, good. Did I forget, by the way, to get something new? Torpedo bombers, flying boats. Let's get a new flying boat. For this, we want reliability and speed, I think. I know I want range. I really do want range, but I want speed because I think range is going to be built into it as is, so I'm going to go with speed just so that it gets to the target faster. We'll see what, I don't know. That probably should have been range, but too late now. Need more submarines. Okay, Morocco, France. We'll still issue our ultimatum. Or maybe push for... Let's push for an international force. Oh, good. Okay, well, Russia is the most likely right now, which is good. Is it time for the air groups? Oh, I've been debating. Let's do it. So... These are carrier trained torpedo bombers. And we're just gonna go for 14 torpedo bombers on this. I'm gonna have no cap. I'm just gonna hope that we don't need a cap with only 14 aircraft anyway. And honestly, it's kind of like the same thing with these. Maybe I'll do two with them. I'll do 10 and 10. 10 float planes. No, sorry, 10 torpedo bombers and 10 Flying boats. Now, copy, paste, paste. Oh, this is a lot nicer. Good. And we want these to all go to reserve as well. But hopefully that'll start bringing in some airplanes for them. Yeah, I feel this is good. Good, good, good. Yeah, let's copy that. Just in time to copy all those. Um, they want to sell us. <laughs> Why are they trying to sell us? Yes, absolutely. We're getting ready. Oh my gosh, what am I doing? We need to put... Uh, uh, probably people have been telling me this, but I wasn't listening because it's not the end of the video yet. I can't read the comments. We need director firing. Director firing. These are not cross-tech fire. We could upgrade them, but again... I think we're trying to do the minimum here. We're trying to do the bare minimum to keep these guys serviceable just until they make it to their ultimate combat mission as as our first carriers. Okay. How much expensive is this? It's not too bad. It's still a lot. Hmm. These might be the only ones that we don't give director firing to. It's just so expensive. So let's start getting the other ones to get director first. And then I'll make a decision later. 
Um, I thought that, they, that we had an upgrade, but nope, nope, nope. So director. Ah, boy. Wow. Oh, good, good, good. We have tertiaries we can drop. Okay, that's good enough then. Director, anything else we would want to change? I don't think so. Probably just add some extra light AA. Yeah, okay, do it. Make it so. Also, the Gachamuchis, yeah, we need these to have director firing. This ship has plenty of space available. Wow. Can we do that? No, 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 no. It needs to okay, a maximum of 40. So, wow, we can actually get away with this then? Huh. Cool. Can't wait for these to be dual purpose. This is actually a pretty good design now, the Gachamuchi. 14 inch guns. So, yeah, three tri And these are not improved triples. Ah, oh, this, this is a good ship. I'm happy with this one. We might not want this. Actually, we might want the additional AA. Um, nah, okay, it only saves us two. Or it only grants us two. Director firing, everything. I think all, all is well here. Yep. Oh, improves. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so we have to rebuild this. Perfect. When you see the zero there, you know you had to, you have to hit save and just leave. There it is, the Gachamuchi. Rebuild them. We don't have much time. We don't even need the battleships out for the first month because we're, you know, supposedly gonna have a surprise attack and that's gonna go well. So 42 minutes in, I think we're almost ready. <laughs> Do we want to put director on the battleships? It's a little bit weird. Hmm, I don't think so. I think that these are also destined for the scrapyard after maybe one more war. Leaving them for Russia seems like it's an okay decision, and pushing it any further beyond that I think is a bad call. Alright, well this is a pretty good place to leave it then. We'll have to put director firing on the uh, heavy cruisers as well. That's another great reason to make these heavy cruisers instead of light cruisers, that we get the benefit that they... Ooh. Oh my. Okay, we'll drop that. Um, we get the benefit that they can cab director firing. <laughs> Three light anti-aircraft guns. Yeah, it had to, I mean, honestly, what I would like to do is change the rounds per gun. Oh, these are eight inch guns. They do fire pretty quickly, so maybe not. Seems good enough to me. We'll save this. So that'll be a, yeah, only a three month refit. Those guys will be back out pretty quickly. Yeah, negative three, but it won't be for that long, which is good. We only have, thankfully, it's only three months because we only have three months of, or no, oh, we have eight months of funding. So there, there we have it. Uh, let's go one more turn just for fun. Just one more turn. Uh, give it maximum publicity. Yes, okay, perfect. I'm liking this. Well, good. The two nations that we're spying on the most, we are not... We have not offended too much. Hopefully tensions drop with France and Germany, continue to rise with Russia, and we have a new war on our hands, hopefully even as early as the next episode, but you know, hopefully a few months so we can get some of our ships back. Even if I, even if they don't, like I said, we do get one month free where we do the surprise attack. So um, we'll start mobilizing our ships and uh, prepare for hopefully getting a surprise attack. Until the next video, thanks for watching and take care.